knock knock yet again I'm back questions happy Friday okay so the thing is how if he was selling them last Friday but you were at your parents house on Thursday night well 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 so you went home to see your parents on Thursday night that right uh yes but you said you saw James at the market on Friday. He, um, no, I went to um, I went to see my parents on Take Friday her away. night. What time did you go on Friday? Um, eight or nine. And you didn't see Kate at all on Friday. No. You're not a very good liar, Emma. Ooh. Okay. I didn't even Kate. need that one. Where? At, at the, the pub. pub. I knew it. Go on. What were you arguing about? How I killed her! I, I'd lent her 50 pounds because she was desperate, and we were just arguing. I, I, it didn't really bother me, she just didn't have it. And Kate broke the window? Yes. She, she did things like that, but she was angry. Smash things? Yes. So it was Emma arguing with Kate, but why didn't she want to admit it? Mm. In case it gave her a motive, or something else? All right. All right. Okay, that's it for now. Thank you. See you in five minutes. Thank you. Probably be back later. So now, being a good police officer, we go back to the pub and we go, hey. Kate broke your window, and that's why she left you 20 pounds. It's not a contradiction. A couple more questions, if that's okay. But it might help her out a little bit. Yo, Kate broke... <sighs> so she didn't have 50, but she dropped 20 on the counter without being asked. Thank you. Probably yes. be back later. Well, why do you, it's the classic problem, right? She doesn't have 50 because she keeps breaking windows and giving people 20s. Please, James. I have some questions about your... A uh, few more questions, please. Thank you. ...economic approach to these mirrors. Because, uh... I mean... It's the... Sells the mirrors but doesn't make a profit, only makes it so his price for it. <sighs> but the broken pub window, though. And Simon's homebrew. <laughs> hmm. That's all for the moment. See you Thank later, you. buddy. Uh, what if we use the scrying mirror at some various places? Like, for example. We met James here. Right? And then we just... Oh, there's no use for the black mirror here. Okay. There's no use for the black mirror here. Shouldn't mess with powers beyond your comprehension. Yeah, I know. I watched um, Hereditary last night, so I'm like, it's a great game to be playing right after seeing Hereditary. How was it? It was very interesting. Terrifying. It was a great movie. Not a garbage movie, egg fuck. It's not bad. That is a, that's a hot take that doesn't make any sense. Um, continue to path end. Sc uh, no, 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 no. Scry, please? There's no use for the black mirror. But what about the screwdriver? The it's okay. Fair enough. You're exactly right. Everything is either amazing or garbage with chat. Oh, but the cinema score was only a C minus. No, it's not on Netflix. I paid seven dollars to watch the HD version on my uh, cable box. Go 
Go check Atlas. Okay. I'm willing to do so. I don't need to call the chief, because I'll just call chat instead. Oh, we can actually go in now. Oh, hello. Now, we know that we're going to learn something about Simon not going home straight after Atlas. 100%. Ryan was interviewed in the lounge, according to the report. It's true. It must be his office. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Scry. Well, apart from that, I uh, guess I'll be leaving the room then. I do like how the door says shut on it. I guess I'll be leaving Atlas then. And we'll be going to talk to Simon again. Or James. Or Simon. Or James. I'm back. Ask you a couple more things, please. How did you see James last Friday when you haven't seen James in a month? With the mirror? That's a great answer. That's Emma? Be back later on if that's okay. I already busted her wide open. Like she's gonna sing like a friggin' canary. Not like that, chat. You know what? Thank you. Probably be back later. Take me out of here. I'm going to the phone box again. I don't care if it's resin. You can just hit redial, man. Nobody else has used it. It's 2018. Hello, Jenks? Yeah, Chief. I had a confession. That's not how you answer the phone. It turns out but she was arguing with I'll let you do it. <laughs> outside the pub. I, I also the like to answer the phone by just uh, guessing who's calling me. Money. Mmm, hello. Kate, Kate hadn't paid it back. So Kate had money problems, so Chinese tax scam? All right, Kate had money problems, so she broke a window and then paid Rebecca back for it? It's either Emma or Rebecca. I'm assuming it's Rebecca. Just a few more questions, if you don't mind. But let's try Emma first real quick. It's like, lend money to Kate because she needed it. But then I want to go... Can I, like, keep this over here and then go all the way back to the pub and be like, how did she give you the money? Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. That's true. Wait a minute. Sorry, Emma. Ask about a few more things, please. You lent money to Kate because she needed it. Excuse me? Can't, can't click it. Um, broken pendant. Kate bought lots of new jewelry. You have to re-enter the room? Thank you. Probably be back <laughs> later. Uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. It's alright. Just slowly break them down. Yeah. Kate bought lots of new jewelry, but at the same time, she needed money. So you lent money to Kate because she was desperate, but she bought loads of jewelry and things. So why were you lending her money? Well, no, it's because, um... It, it's... it wasn't about money. 
Was it Emma? No. Go on. Well, why does she have a microscope? We were arguing because she was going to blackmail Ryan, the guy from Atlas, over an affair he was having, and then tell his wife if he didn't give her the money. Sorry, could you slow down, Ryan's please? Ryan's affair with Kate. No, I don't know. I think he was having an affair with another student and Kate found out. And why were you involved? Because I didn't really agree with it. I didn't agree with what she was doing, even if he did have an affair. Were you friends with Ryan? No, I'd never met him. You just checked out. Kate was wrong. Yeah. Hmm. Not sure about this. Emma's either on a moral crusade, or there's another reason she was worried about Kate blackmailing Ryan. I feel like it's when somebody tells you a story that's like 45 minutes long and by the end of it you're like, how do you feel about it? And I'm like, I don't remember. For all I know is at first we were talking about a broken window and now all of a sudden we're conjuring the dead and Kate's a ghost and she's sleeping with Ryan or breaking windows because of some blackmail situation. Okay. Has never met Ryan. Tried to persuade Kate not to blackmail Ryan. Kate wanted to blackmail Ryan over his affair. Simon. Be back later on if that's Tell okay. me what's going on here. Simon, you're my boy. Your homebrew started this case okay, that's it for on now. the right foot. Thank you. I want to go back to Atlas, perhaps after waiting zero minutes, Ryan is now there. Nope. I got to sneeze. <coughs> I almost muted myself, but then I thought it would deprive you of the... Uh, of the sound that I had promised. All right, here's the thing, Rebecca. You know what the argument was about because you were the one sleeping with Ryan. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Or maybe not at all. <laughs> She's his wife? That's why the betrayal stings that much more. One second, I'm going to blow my nose. Yes, I muted that one. No, I have not seen the new Kanye West music video. I'm not 14 or 40 years old. I'm right in the middle. Thank you. Probably be back later. I would say definitely be back later. Here's the thing. James, I'm busting this case wide open. You were the one cheating with Ryan. A few more questions, please. You don't know about the argument, but simultaneously, your homebrew is very strong. Or Simon's homebrew is very strong. Has he been to the post office? Uh, I have you. not Probably been to the be post later. office. Yeah, right. Simultaneously, Simon owns a screwdriver. Let's go to the post office. I mean, we have been here because we went uh, behind Brandon's house. Absolutely. I don't think we've been here either. Oh, what? <laughs> Half mast. Did the queen die? Oh, it 
all becomes clear. Always nice to randomly find a key on the floor. Okay. Yeah. A key. Beautiful. And then we have encountered two locks. Thought one of the locks was here. The other one was at Atlas, right? There was another one. Of course. Why wouldn't there be? Wow. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. A cult. Behind the inn. Okay. By inn, you mean pub. That's alright. Not everybody's a detective like I am. So we're going to investigate down around behind the pub. Simple as that. Go on. Excuse me. I can no longer enter through the back door. Because the pub's open, I guess. Oh, no, no, no. You can just use, use. All right, fair enough. Yeah, even better. She asked for the warrant. Just pull out the screwdriver and you say, that's my warrant. Ah, oh, yes, the Georgian Dragon. My favorite pub. I saw the hourglass or the Looks magnifying like glass. It's too dark to tell. Jenks, pull out your phone. Every phone is a torch feature. Don't be ridiculous. I wonder whose mask this is. Rebecca's or Ryan's? Well, this arbitrarily is an important piece of evidence. Look, I don't call it a torch, but my phone calls it a torch. So, if we can use the mask, maybe we can use the mask at Atlas. And they'll be like... Hey, are you Ryan? Um, I'm just going to try. I'm always going to try my own insane strategy first. Yeah. Cardboard mask. There's no use for the cardboard mask here. It's my mistake. There's no use for the cardboard mask here. And then nothing here changes unless... Uh, Time changes, right? So, like, that's always going to be the same. Fair enough. I will go back to the pub, ask Rebecca about the mask, and be like, Damn, bitch, you live like this? Etc, etc. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. Do you know what this is? Oh, you'll have to ask Ryan about that. So this is Ryan's. It's to do with one of Ryan's methods on the course. Go on. Well, masks allow you to play it being someone different for a while. Students find it quite liberating. So this would be for a student? I think that one's Ryan's, but students do wear them, yeah. It's like inverted VR. That's all for the moment. Thank you. I like the contrast between, like, him almost getting an important revelation and everybody's really quiet. And then he's like, well, that's all for the moment. Thank you. A few more questions. See you in six seconds. Ever seen this before? <laughs> nope, I haven't. Sorry. I think I'd have remembered it. Oh, so you haven't seen the mask Be before. Back later on, if that's okay. And yet, Simon's cousin owns a bicycle. Have a look at this. <laughs> you anything about that? I haven't seen this one, but it looks a lot like an Atlas mask. 
Uh, we use them for some of the um, some of the workshops and stuff. Really? How? Well, you um, you have to say something uh, boastful or uh, or arrogant. You do it first without the mask, and then you say it with a mask. And the point is? Well, it's easier when you have the mask on, isn't it? People are not as afraid to be free about themselves, you know? Um, what did you find out about Atlas? Well, it I think it'd be harder with the mask, because um, you look like a dumb idiot. Got the, um, <clears throat> this is the other that was at my college. Uh, to be honest, I've learned more in three months at Atlas than I did in three years at business school. Extremely <laughs> red flag. Anytime anyone ever Suppose says that, that might be useful as a conversational starter. Yeah, there are more at the pub than I did at college. It sounds like perhaps you should have gone to class. Thank you. Probably be back later. What do you know about Atlas? I know that it's um it's a business course. I went with Simon when he first went, but wasn't really my thing. How often did you go? Just the once. And you decided it wasn't for you? Yeah, yeah I it was at my parents' similar, house. So I decided it wasn't for me. Okay, she only went once. Good to know. Maybe. Wait a minute. Has never met Ryan but went to an Atlas seminar. Something uh -huh. doesn't check out, Emma. You said you went to an Atlas meeting with Simon. Yes. That's you are terrible. I to know that Ryan is the main lecturer at Atlas. But you say you never met him. Why did you say you don't know him? Okay, I, I, need, I need to tell you something. I just need to make sure Simon doesn't find out. I won't be telling Simon anything he doesn't have to hear. And you can't tell Rebecca either. Go on. Okay, so the affair that happened was was between Ryan and I. I was having the affair. Adultery is still a crime so in northeastern England. I'm afraid she didn't care about me. We're gonna have to lock you up. It was part of the course, you see, having to take all these risks. She thought it was funny to turn her back on Ryan. She thought I wouldn't care. But you did. Yes, I was already with Simon when Ryan and I, you know, and I didn't want Simon finding out, and Kate thought that he wouldn't, but I didn't want her risking it. And then if Rebecca found out, then Simon would definitely have found out, and then it would have blown up and it would have just been a big mess. And so you just argued and what? <sighs> well, she just stormed off and broke a window. And that was it? You didn't see her again that night? No. Are you sure? Yes. I promise. Hey, we've done it. One, it's like a real time hour. So, Ryan's a bit of a Lothario, is he? I think it's time I met this Ryan Rand face I just to face. I want to say, I hate every character in the game so far. It's like, life is not hard enough. You're also like, okay, I'm gonna cheat on my screwdriver-owning homebrew boyfriend who looks like the eighth Doctor Who with a cult owner who has the same name of the guy who's streaming the game right now. And also, my dead friend was trying to blackmail him, but not me. And Rebecca, I don't know, they're all wearing cardboard masks and looking into black mirrors and it's like, just get a hobby. You know, learn how to cross stitch or something. James? James is cool, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I don't, he's not cool. Obviously, he's a big nerd, but like. He's making stuff with his hands. He's smoking herbal tea out of a hookah he keeps in a cardboard box. It's not the way I want to live my life, but at least he doesn't seem too embroiled with the banal drama of the town so far. He sells black painted glass? Dude, it's immoral to let a sucker keep his money.
fire door. Keep shut. You Ryan. are you crazy? Yes. Detective Inspector James, I'm. That's a fire door. In the area. Wouldn't mind asking you a few questions. All right. <sighs> Come in, Inspector. Thank you. This guy is a honker, no question. Dude, what a <laughs> rich office, though. <laughs> Drink, Inspector. I'd better not, eh? So you wanted to speak to me? I believe that uh, Kate Vine was a student at Atlas. Dude, I had that Kate chest Vine. set growing up. Well, yes, she was. Literally $25 at Toys R Us. All of this has been thoroughly investigated, Inspector. It, it was suicide. Well, we have reason to believe there may be rather more to it than that. Really? Well, then in that case, I'd be prepared to assist in any way possible. Thank you. Pleasure. <laughs> Tell me about this. Ah, it's, uh, it's the first one we ever have made. We had it designed by an agency after we'd spent weeks trying to trying to find a name for this place. It took you weeks? I don't like that, Inspector. I thought it was a rather grand name. Actually, if I'm being honest, I plucked it out of thin air one night in the George while I was having a few gin and tonics. Well, actually, somebody left a book and I stole it. This guy's a friggin' weirdo. You just admit to stealing the name or stealing a book? First he was a little cagey, but now... Well, of course, Inspector, quite indubitably. I am suspicious indeed. What about this? Oh, this is the mask I Can wear when I fuck my wife. Tell me about this. Haven't seen that for a while. We had a friend who used to make them for us for the course. He passed away last year. What does the uh, symbol mean? Uh, it's borrowed from paganism. It's the symbol of the triple goddess. The mother, maiden, and crone, represented by the waxing and waning of the moon. Uh, it's an ancient symbol. It predates Christianity. Some people say that it dates back to Paleolithic times. And is that uh, relevant to the course? Well, no, no, no. I mean, it, it's a symbol we, we dabbled with, but it's not particularly relevant. We don't use it on the course, no. Yo, so you, like, you don't use it on the course, but it's on the mask that you use in the course? Doubtful. Like, I'm almost like, hey, look at that. That's a contradiction as far as I'm concerned, whether they know it or not. Have you seen one of these before? I believe that uh, looks like a scrying mirror to me. You have seen one before? Hmm. Well, I, I, I used to have one myself, actually, along with lots of other bits and pieces of that nature. Silly things, you know. Really? Yes, I, when I was in my teenage years, <laughs> I had quite an obsession with that kind of thing. I, uh, I was a very somber child, and well, not that you could tell, always playing fantasy games, reading books about that kind of malarkey, you know. What sort of books did you read? Well, uh, books on black magic, <laughs> not the chocolates. Uh, I'm going to assume that's an English joke? Satanic rituals, that kind of thing. I, I grew out of it, of course. But you're not into that sort of thing now. <laughs> of course I'm not. Uh, I mean, I don't need to believe in the supernatural. I've discovered the drink. The natural world is far more interesting. Don't you think so? Dude, this just never ends. I believe the last time you saw Kate Vine was at the pub last Friday. Then you came straight back with some of the students. Is that right? Uh, yes, I like to have a glass of port or two after a long day, and benefits of being married to the landlady. How did she seem that night? The landlady? Kate. Oh, Kate. Uh, well, she was her usual self, drunk. That was usual? It was for her, yes. I mean, it didn't impair... No wonder they got along. She was a very bright star, lots of potential, very enthusiastic. So she seemed to be enjoying the course? Well, as far as anybody could tell, yes. When did you first meet her? Uh, when she joined, about three months ago. And you hadn't met her before then? No. So you didn't suspect there was anything wrong? Well, do you mean did I expect her to drown herself? Of course I didn't inspect her. It was quite a shock. Nobody expected that. I mean, it's really hard. Have you seen this before? Not that I recall. 
You don't know whether Kate had lost this or not. Uh, uh, no, I've never seen it before, sorry. And yet, you used to work at the DMV, where you frequently used Simon's screwdriver. Ask him about the bicycle. <laughs> Does Simon Thompson ride a bike, do you know? I think so, yes. I, th I think he drives as well, but I might be mistaken. Hmm. Riveting. No, no, don't reveal that you own the screwdriver yet. Ask about the homebrew. Have you tried Simon's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? <laughs> no, I haven't had the pleasure, sorry. I don't drink. Know what this is? Yes. It's a freedom necklace. Uh, it's a symbol that we use on the course. It's supposed to represent freedom from the chains of your ancestry. Have you ever bought one of these? I haven't, but I've seen the students wearing them. What do you know about the broken window at the back of the pub? Oh, uh, Rebecca told me about it. I don't know how it got smashed, though. I told her to tape over it. We can't have anybody cutting themselves. You have to be very health and safety conscious these days. <laughs> this guy's freaking me out. Do you know anything about an argument? I just want him to swallow Friday. one mouthful of this I drink. I believe it wasn't long after the pub opened. No. I usually leave for the manor house about 6. Uh, I start preparations around 6.30. I like to get a head start. I don't trust anybody that just holds something, never takes advantage of it. Like, yeah, he looks so thirsty. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think I have a contradiction here yet. Of course this guy has seduced Emma. Have you seen his alpha male body language? He wears a suit. He runs a business course. He's drunk all the time. He's the Omega male. He's on those new tropics. All right, well, we did... Well, we know we've learned nothing. Hold on. There has to be a contradiction here. The symbol is not used on the course. And yet, simultaneously... It's used on the course. My God, there's too much info. Time to show him the screwdriver. I refuse. Uh, that's it for the time being. Thank you. See you later, buddy. Fire door keeps shut. Can't be too health conscious or health and safety conscious these days. No, not the pub. Sorry. Welcome back. Miss me? There you go. Come on. Cute. He's different now. He's wearing a novelty apron. Smells nice. What is that? Uh, chili pork. I have no idea you were a cook. Oh, no, I used to. Used to be more into it. No, I don't do it so much. Used to grow my own herbs. The sound. Oh, here. Please. Uh, no. Uh, I'll tell you whatever you want. Just what turn off that? that terrible noise. That's where James lives. Yeah, we used to share a house together. The farmer used to let us use a corner of his greenhouse to grow stuff. I didn't know you knew James that well. Well. Didn't really get on. Where are the greenhouses? Well, it's just through the farmyard at the back. Interesting. Okay. See, I'm upset. Because... He says the masks are used during the Atlas seminars, but Ryan says they're not. That's a contradiction, but I can't will it into existence here. 
Use the screwdriver to fix his stove. Now you're talking. Thank you. Probably be back later. He said the symbol isn't relevant. That's right. The mask is relevant. 